Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Outro E. I know it's been a while since uh, I've been on the scene, <clears throat> but just like I talked about earlier, about a month, couple months back, I told you I was gonna get into track riding. So I actually did a track day last weekend, and uh, man, I can't explain the feeling. It's the best experience feeling that I've had on a motorcycle. Like, I like to go real fast, you know? Um, and before going fast on the track, you know, I was doing it on the streets. Well, something like that. And uh, so now being on the track, everybody was like, oh, you went to the track, how fast you go? Yo, bro, it's not about being fast. As far as like trying to hit top speed, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's about me starting out learning technique and just getting better as I go by each uh, each lap um, I can't say it enough man it, it was it's hard to explain because I'm so excited and I can't wait to go again I'm supposed to be going on the second um, with my buddy uh, Solomon down in Texas so um, hopefully everything works out um, it's, it's supposed to be full but Sometimes you have cancellations and whatnot, so hopefully I can get in. Um, man, it's the best experience. Like I said, you don't have to worry about no cops. You don't have to worry about no traffic, no potholes, no trash in the road. Like, none of that. Like, all you got to focus on is just riding and getting better and getting faster. And, I mean, it's just... Some people that don't ride or don't understand, hey, it's not. it might not be for you, you know what I'm saying? Which is cool. You got those that like to stunt, and that's cool too, you know what I'm saying? If you're a stunner, hey, that's what's up. I respect that because it takes skills, and you can't just, just throw a bike around. You think it's easy, but it's actually not. So I respect all my stunners, my Grom, my Grom guys, you know, uh, Supermotos, man, everybody. But for me... The track is where it's at, like, no doubt, no brainer, uh, no question. Um, hey, just like that song, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's saying I'm good, and that's real, because I'm good right now. So, I'm up early, uh, riding around, it's nice and cool. But, uh, man, yeah, I can't say enough about track day, man. There's a lot of guys that, and the thing about it, like, I went to Hallett, which is here in, in Oklahoma. It's up by Tulsa and Jennings. And as far as the staff goes, staff was super cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was cool. Heck, even the riders that were there were real helpful and cool, giving me tips and things you just don't think about, you know, being a rookie and a first timer you know and you got guys that's been doing this for like 10 years and 10 years plus and so I'm, I'm the type of person I'm not gonna be like oh I know everything you know what I'm saying like <clears throat> I'm the type of person that if you've done something before I want to know now like just I do my research let's say that because that's just like when I went to the track two or three weeks before every day I'm studying the track looking at the turns I watched a couple guys that actually raced on the track then I saw some guys that were novice or intermediate. And so that gave me a good idea on how to judge certain corners. So um, it was it was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? To, to see it on the, on the computer or the TV screen or whatever, and then actually get there and then start riding and hitting the corners, and then everything's coming to your mind. It's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. You can hit this corner doing about 60 this corner you gotta slow down to 25 ish 30 ish you know um it was just real awesome to be able to do that and uh i can't say no more about my experience man it was definitely not gonna be my last day uh it changed the way i do ride i will say that um i'm not gonna say too much but uh, we tend to like to 
ride late night at certain speeds and different things, certain groups, group of guys I ride with. And uh, that that's fun too, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna cut all that out. And the reason why is the simple fact that there's so many factors that could factor in and I mean, you could get a ticket, you could get, I mean, worse. And then that takes away your funds for track day. So with me hooked on this track day thing, like I'm not trying to have to spend money on a ticket and then I can't go to track day. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be freaking stupid. It's stupid to me right now. Let's get that rev on. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I love track day. A lot of guys were real helpful. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, is there something going on up here? Some walkathon or something? Oh, I gotta do a U-turn. This ain't gonna happen, bruh. But, yeah, man. Um, like I said, I can't say enough about it. There's actually some guys I know that actually race. Hopefully, if everything work out, I can make it to the race next weekend. Um, but, yeah, super, super, super stoked. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything was great. Me and my buddy Austin Faisal went up there and checked it out, man. It was good. We didn't have no issues. We didn't wreck. One of the homies I know um, that rides with us, he uh, he laid his bike down, but luckily, luckily, he was good. Um, didn't mess up his bike. He was able to continue to ride, and he actually stayed the next day. Um, but man, I'm, I wish I would have done this a lot sooner. But it's all good. That's the beauty of life, being able to live and learn and experience different things. And uh, like I said, man, it's, it, it was definitely something to experience. I can't even discuss it because it's, it's hard to put in words the feelings <laughs> that I felt and that I feel when I was riding. The next day, I was just thinking like, dang, I want to ride. That's all I was thinking about is, yo, I want to ride. <laughs> Let's go ride. Let's go ride again. But, um, yeah, I'm just rolling downtown, man. I usually don't. Yeah, I usually don't. Yeah, lights are green, so I don't know what they're talking about. That's what happens when you you, you walk on a, a freaking red light when it says not to walk. Dumb idiots. Don't point at me. Man, I have a red bomb you and then see what you say. But uh, let me get back on topic. You see how people can throw you off, man? And again... At the track, that don't happen, you know what I'm saying? You might have to pass some people that might be a little slower than you, but, and that's cool, they learning. It's all about learning, dude. And uh, after riding behind one of the instructors, Paul, um, he gave me really the confidence, man, like straight up, I ain't even gonna lie. He gave me the confidence to, to trust my tires and to trust my bike and uh, hit the corners, um, leaning, you know, pretty hard too. Um, that back tire, I, I wore that whole back tire out. That's the first time I've ever done that. I'd be trying to do it on the street, but pushing the limits on the street, I'm not going to do. I'm just going to have fun and ride. And, you know, I'm still going to, you know, have my little speed burst. Y'all know that. But within reason. I'm, I'm going to do it within reason. But, uh, yeah, man. Everything's good. I just wanted to drop in and say what up. Give y'all my, my aftermath take on um, freaking track day i can't even say it but much respect man it's tight and uh uh y'all know what it is i'm outro e and i'm out